This is Russia. The state emblem of Russia is a golden double-headed eagle, powerful and majestic. On its chest we see Saint George the Victor slaying the evil dragon with a silver lance. The Russian flag has three colors, white, blue and red. Moscow, the capital of Russia, stands on the Moscow River. North from Moscow, there is an old Russian town called Vologda. Vologda has its own citadel, like the Moscow Kremlin. The butter that is made in Vologda is the most delicious in the world. It is called Vologda butter. Vologda is also famous for its lace, which can also be made from wood or even from iron. The lace is very similar to the traceries Frost draws on windows. By the way, many people think that Father Frost only exists in fairy tales, but actually he lives on the northern end of Vologda region in a small town called Veliki Ustu. Write a letter to Father Frost and you will certainly get a present. And if you like Russian fairy tales, there are plenty of them here and each of them is like a precious gem. Once there was a man, and the man had a cat. The cat caused a lot of trouble and was an awful glutton. That cat was good for nothing, except for damages. Finally, the man couldn't stand it anymore. He grabbed the cat and carried it into the woods as far as he could, so the cat could never find his way back. The man was so far into the woods that he even became frightened. He threw the bag down and ran home as fast as he could, quick as a wink. The fox happened to be passing by. She saw the bag and was very curious to see what was in it. And the cat inside was scared to death. He heard someone trampling about outside the bag. The fox hmm. thought, hmm, I will take the bag home and open it there. <coughs> the cat and the fox looked at each other, both quite scared but very curious. In all my years in the woods, I've never seen an animal like you. Who are you? I, I am Kutfe Ivanovich. I've been sent to you from the Siberian woods to be governor. Yes, indeed. <laughs> governor! Hmm, governor. Hmm, what a grand governor you are, Kotofe Ivanovich. Such bearing and such a uniform. What do you say, Kotofe Ivanovich? Let's get married. Get married? What's your name? I am Lizaveta Petrovna. <laughs> Well, Lizaveta Petrovna, all right, I'll marry you. They began to live together. They were happy day and night, singing songs and playing patter cake.
Oh, my poor Kotofei Ivanovich, you've gotten so hungry, you are running around all night trying to find something to nibble on. Well, I'll go get some food while you stay here and gather your strength. We'll have a rich life soon. The fox was running around the forest, picking mushrooms and looking around. Suddenly, a wolf appeared. Hello, Fox. Why are you picking mushrooms you won't eat? Why well, I don't, but my husband, Kotofei Ivanovich, loves... What Kotofei Ivanovich? Haven't you heard? He was sent to us from the Siberian woods to be governor. I used to be a maiden fox, and now I'm our governor's wife. Governor? Do you think I could see him? You gather presents. Fish, meat, lots of it. Put it in the glade and hide nearby. Perhaps Kotofei Ivanovich won't notice you. He's small, but he's a nasty temper, and if something doesn't go his way, he can tear someone right to pieces. To pieces? Wow. And then the fox went to gather acorns. No way! What are you grabbing my acorns for, fox? Phew! They're not for me, they're for my husband, Kotfei Ivanovich. What do you mean, an husband? The one who was sent to us from the Siberian woods to be governor. Could you hand me that acorn? It's out of my reach. No way! Listen, Fox, I want to see your governor. You gather some presents, fish and meat, a lot of it. Put it in the glade and hide somewhere nearby. Perhaps Kotovey Ivanovich won't notice you. He's quick and ruthless. No way! Hello, dear fox. What do you want? I need some raspberries for my husband, Kotovey Va... Kotovey Ivanovich, who was sent to us from the Siberian woods to be governor. Show me! He's small, but with a very nasty temper. He can tear you right to pieces! To pieces? Give me just a little peek. You gather some presents, some fish and meat, and put it in the glade, then hide yourself as best you can. Then perhaps Kotofei Ivanovich will not harm you. Are you bored, Kotofei Ivanovich? I've brought you something to eat. <coughs> you don't like it? You want something yummy? Soon you'll have it. Big animals are about to come with presents. <coughs> Don't be scared. They'll take just a little peek of you and run on their way. No one's ever seen a real governor in our woods. No way! We come groveling at a fox and her husband. Hush you! You can go and get yourself into trouble. Just don't pull us into it. The fox told us to hide. No way! No way! <laughs> well, are they coming? How is he? The governor? Nobody. Maybe we should give them a sign. Hey, hey, stop! Run to the fox and tell her we've come with the presents. Have her come out here with Kotofei Ivanovich. I was ordered to tell you they've come with the presents and have requested for you to come out. No way! No way! Well, are they coming? It looks like it. How is he, the governor? Hard to see. He's a bit small, 
Come on, Kotofei Ivanovich, don't be mad at them. They brought you delicious presents. Now you'll have your delicious fill and then maybe you won't be so mad at them. And if you don't like the feast, then you can eat them instead. Oi. What's going on? I can't see anything. It's a disaster. He's crying more and more. I'm worried he'll come after us. <gasps> Where are you going here? You tired of life? I can't handle it anymore. I'll look for myself. or the governor will tear you to pieces and tell the others so they won't ever make Potifei Ivanovich angry either. What a thrashing you gave them, Potifei Ivanovich. They'll remember it for a long time. And ever since that day, the cat and the fox lived a rich and happy life. They're coming! They're coming! They're bringing the presents! They're coming! They're bringing the presents! <laughs>